Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology and this week we all have a new start where we're getting in touch with our warrior side, our hero within to be able to break through and start a brand new journey. Here's your weekly astrology. Hi gorgeous Libra, how are you doing? This is a profound week, Mercury is going direct, thank goodness. And you are feeling slightly more balanced, but you also may be feeling that you want to make some radical changes thanks to the new moon in your relationship zone. You are uh, reflecting on partnerships, you're reflecting on love relationships, you're uh, reflecting on what it is that you want in the world. Before we get to that, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, joining forces with Neptune, the spiritual. And there is a profound need for you to get your routines together to look after your health and well-being. You may meet someone who kind of wakes you up to what you need to do to organise your life in some way. And it feels like a really profound message straight to your soul. When it comes to this new moon, you, you want to change the energy of your relationships. Even if you're in a great relationship, there's some shift coming and you're taking it to the next level. If you're in a relationship that's not working, you're ready to let go. If you're single, you're ready to conjure the right relationship for you. And, and it's all about you finding your own inner balance. Let's face it, you are the relationship sign. So a new moon reboots your ideas of relationships and kind of evolves uh, your perception of what your intimate relationships are like. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Uh, Use this symbolically. I do tie it in with the astrology and I found it to be incredibly worthwhile. So stick around even if you're a cynic. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra this week. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, Libra. You're very protected at the moment. Someone's watching you and thinking... <clears throat> You know, they've got an idea of, of, of what you can do in the future. You've also got sort of profound spiritual protection around you. Don't take any of this for granted. Do your best this week and, and be practical about what you do. Mercury is still a little bit in shadow, so just make sure that you're, you're paying attention. You may feel that there's someone around you who's trying to steal something from you. It could be literally stealing or it could be, it's more like to be an emotional theft. You feel that somebody's sort of uh, hitting below the belt. What they're doing is unnecessary. It's taking something to an extreme and you're like, mm, you know, what am I going to do? But luckily you're not going to take it personally and you're leaping into a new situation. You're feeling spontaneous, you're feeling open and you're feeling sort of free spirited. It's almost like you understand that, that this is your time to express who you are. This is your time to leap into success. You're not gonna let someone negative at work or some, a negative friend drag you down into the, into the um, abyss. You're like, no, onwards. You may feel as if somebody is messing with you when it comes to money or what's equal in your relationship. So it may be that you feel that you buy the coffee all the time or it may be deeper that there is some imbalance to do with the practicality in your relationship or finances and you want to resolve that this week now something's happening this week that's meant to be uh, I love the wheel of fortune but it's also it's an interesting card because it means there's something that we're meant to learn is coming around or something that we're meant to experience and for you it may involve travel it may involve you going away or creating a situation where you're more in control of your destiny, that you are the magician and you're deciding through whatever this fated event is, right, that's it. I know I've got the power to transform things and I'm going to be the magician and this is a new beginning. Take care, gorgeous. Do come and see me on Instagram at Michelle Knight for Daily Tarot and Astro. Mm -hmm. 